Hi, I'm Coach Justice, and uh, I'm going to explain just a couple of ideas about our training here before we start to show you the main exercises that we're going to use in developing leg strength. Uh, first of all, the main idea to think about is volleyball is a sport of power, and it's a sport of uh, contrast between big muscles and little muscles. What are the big muscles? Well, the big muscles are the muscles of the legs and the hips. Okay, and the little muscles are the muscles of the rotator cuff, for example. All of these muscles have to be strong. To develop the big muscles, use big weights. To develop the little muscles, don't try to use big weights, use little weights. Little weights for little muscles, big weights for big muscles. The work that these muscles do is completely different. And the other thing that you should think about is that when you train, you are you're not just training muscles, you're not just trying to develop the strength of muscles, you're trying to develop them in a useful manner. So I say develop the strength of the movement. And in particular, looking at the legs, the movement that we're interested in is a triple extension, extension of the hips, extension of the knees, extension of the ankles. That's what we refer to as triple extension. Now, the thing that we're after, as I mentioned before, is power. And power is developed when you work on these two components. You work on, first of all, the strength of the muscles that are involved in the movement, and second of all, the speed with which the muscles are involved in the movement. You have to work on strength. If you just work on speed movements, you will never develop your maximum ability to jump. If you just work on strength movements, you'll never develop your maximum ability to jump. You have to work on both. We're going to focus on the strength of movements uh, first. And we're going to show you how to develop the strength of your leg muscles with some basic exercises. And then we're also going to segue into showing you some speed movements, the, the things that everybody calls plyometrics. In all of these things, it is the acceleration that's really, really important. That final acceleration that gets you up off the floor. Okay? So we're gonna from here we're gonna go right into the exercise. Alright, now the basic most important exercise for the development of the legs is a squat. And when you begin the squat, you begin with your feet a little bit wider than hip width apart so that you have room for your hips to sink down between your uh, heels. And you want to keep your back straight and your head up and you're looking straight ahead. And now as you go down, it's important to go down under control. So we say a two count down, a thousand one, a thousand two down and then come up as quickly as you can. You come up with a one count or even faster than a one count. It's very, very important to accelerate as quickly as you can on the way out because that is what develops the power aspect uh, that goes into jumping, okay? Now we're gonna take a look at this from the side. Okay, now looking from the side, you can see one of the things we've done is we've taken a small uh, piece of plywood uh, 5 8 inch plywood and put that under the heels. Very often this helps people uh, descend all the way down without uh, losing their balance because uh, most of us are a little bit tight in the Achilles tendon, in our heel tendon, so this helps us uh, get down. Again, you can see it's really important to descend under control and I will make this point as we go through the squats whether you have no weight at all whether you have a very, very heavy weight, it's important that you don't go down too fast and it's important that you don't bounce at the bottom. You don't want the recoil of your joint to be the uh, stimulating factor that gets you going upward in your squat. You want to make sure that it is the muscles of the legs and the hips that bring you back up in the squat, just as you see uh, Cherry doing here. For most people, it's comfortable to keep the arms out in front, uh, just as you see in this example. And again, we want to go down under control, 1,001, 1,002, come up as quick as possible. 
and spring up as fast as you can. Now you can also use the arms in doing the squat exercise very much in the same manner that you would use them in jumping. So now as Cherry goes down, the arms go behind her and then on the way up, the arms come up and that helps accelerate a lot more. Now you can combine the squat with jumping and this exercise, uh, oddly enough, is called the jump squat. So in this exercise, you go all the way down just like you would in a regular squat, but your arms go behind you, and then you swing them upwards as you come upwards, and you try to jump as high as you possibly can. So you can do this uh, to increase your explosiveness and the height of your jump. Now, you can add a little bit of weight if you have a medicine ball, or if you don't have a medicine ball, maybe you can use a milk jug filled with sand or filled with water. And so now you have a little bit of resistance. You're going to follow the same uh, exercise prescription as before. Go down in a two count and then come up as quickly as you can. There we go. Make sure every time you go down that your hips go below your knees. So it's very important to get the full range of motion when you're doing squats. Now you can also turn this into a more explosive exercise by doing jump squats as you see Cherry doing right now. So now go down all the way and then jump up as high as you can. Now we're moving ahead to learning how to uh, prepare ourselves to lift with weights in the weight room. So we have, a, we have a stick, and this is a dowel that I just purchased at a, a hardware store, but a broomstick will serve the purpose just as well, and you just place it across your shoulders, and now you do this, the uh, squat as we've done before, focusing on keeping your back straight and looking straight ahead. Usually when you squat, the most important thing is to find a point in the distance or maybe a spot on the wall. Keep your eyes focused on that and keep your head and your spine in the same postural position that they would be in where you would just be standing at attention, let's say. Okay, watch the squat with the stick. Again, all the way down, come up quickly. Go down 1,001, 1,002, come up as quick as possible like that. Okay, now another uh, exercise that's really good is a standing long jump or what we call frog jumps. And we'll use these, I think uh, volleyball players need to know how to jump vertically. I think it's also important to jump uh, longitudinally or horizontally. There's actually a little bit less pressure on the knees when you jump longitudinally because you're not descending from such a height. So uh, let's watch Cherry do a uh, frog jump like that. Okay, again, it's really, really important to drop your hips low and really swing your arms really hard. Like that, with a bar. First thing you do is step up to the bar and get your hands shoulder width apart on the bar and you step under the bar with both legs lift the bar off using both legs and then step back to the squatting position you want to pinch your shoulder blades together and lift your rib cage up so that there's space between the bar and the uh, spinal column so we're going to zoom in on that just to see what it looks like to, from close. Okay. Okay, stop. Legs step back, away from the rack, always face the rack, all the way down into a full squat, and then accelerate up like that. Again. Now breathing pattern, when you prepare to squat, you take a big breath of air, hold it, go down, and then expel the air as you come up. Okay. Very good. 
And then when you set the bar back, you walk straight into the rack, bend both legs. If you have a spotter, the spotter should put the bar firmly into the rack and set it down. And then you're done. Okay, chug off. When you begin squatting, always start with a warm-up set. So we've just got 85 pounds on the bar. I mean, we've been lifting all year, so we're starting to get strong. But even at this stage, we'll start with a warm-up set. It's really important. That's it. Come up quick. Okay, if your ankles are a little bit tight, if your Achilles tendon's a little bit tight, you put a small weight underneath your heels. These are two and a half. That makes it a little bit easier. That's it. Come up quick. You want to make the weight rattle at the top. Hup. Very nice. All right, let's go Bailey. You see the spotting method here that we use, one hand, one man, one person behind the other person, both hands underneath the bar. Give them a little bit of a lift if they need a lift. But right now Bailey's getting down there all the way. She's coming up with plenty of room to spare. She doesn't really need a spot. Okay, with a spot now, drive it up. That's it. Always accelerate. Want triple extension. Explode through the weight, all the way up through the top. So the greatest force should be at the top. Greatest acceleration at the top. Very good. That's it, one more, one more. Good job. That's it. Good job, one more, one more. Cup. Good. It's our working weight. Under it now. That's it. Get under it. That's it. Quick. Very nice. That's it, Alex. Very nice. Drive your head forward. Keep your chin down. Good. That's it. Lock it out quickly. Snap. Accelerate. Hup. Good. That's it. Accelerate the bar. That's it. Come up quick. Go down slow. Come up quick. Very good. 